Hey there guys, Franco-Matic here, and today I thought we'd play something that's, you know, generally considered pretty good. As you might guess from the uh, C64 here, it's probably not what you're thinking. I'm going to give you a spoiler, though I haven't actually tried it yet, I don't think it's going to be very good either. But let's see, shall we? I think this is it. I won't spoil it ahead of time. I'll just let you guys... Ah. Bask in the glory. Do you want apostrophe T? You know what I do. Let's go all in on this. Yeah. Street Fighter. This wasn't actually the game I meant to load up, but you know what? Let's just roll with it. <clears throat> Yeah. Let's just go. Leave it on novice. I'm terrible at fighting games. That's why I gave myself infinite health. Let's get as much mileage out of this as we can. Save the thing I meant to load up for another video, probably. Because it should be just the same. These are some good effects here. Yeah, look at this. I think my controller is in the wrong port. Yeah, there we go. Actually, this... Oh. Isn't terrible. The controls... Absolutely awfully, as you would expect of a fighting game on a system that has one button for input. <laughs> but it looks okay, all things considered. This is, of course, Street Fighter 1, not the more popular and generally better Street Fighter 2. Oh good, no loading between rounds, that's nice. I like the little hop we got here. You can just run for me, man? Come on. But yeah, what's uh Let's see everything Street Fighter 1 on the C64 has to offer. I'm pretty sure Ryu had his... at least a couple of his special moves in Street Fighter 1, but god if I know how to do them. <clears throat> Especially in this version. I feel like most of these characters never showed up again in a Street Fighter game. I can beat this ninja by punching him right in the nuts. There we go. Yeah, the standard uh, fireball motion ain't working here, so it must be something different than the original. Or, they aren't in this version, possibly. Or, I just don't actually know how to do it. 
in this particular version with only one button. Tapping the button and holding the button is your difference for uh, light and strong attacks, which isn't bad. I would have already lost like ten times over by this point if uh, I didn't cheat myself unlimited health. Let's go bust up Saget, shall we? Shall we? Hey there, Joe! I actually really love this hopping animation. <laughs> I also really enjoy the funky in the background. Joe, man, you're not even really trying. I know I'm invincible, but come on, man. So I guess to give it away, I had intended to load up the Commodore 64 port of Street Fighter 2. But instead we got one, and that's fine. I did not have this in my youth. I did not have the Street Fighter 2 port either, actually. My Street Fighter of choice back in the day was Street Fighter Turbo on the Super Nintendo. Street Fighter 2 Turbo, rather. I was never any good at it, though. I think Birdie is one of the few characters from this game, aside from Ryu himself and Sagat, to actually return, eventually. I'm not 100% on that, though. I didn't really keep up well with Street Fighter after 2, because I'm not super fond of fighting games. The AI in this version is clearly lacking a little bit. Possibly because I put it on novice difficulty. You know, the load times actually aren't that bad, all things considered. Ooh, Eagle here is, uh... ...stepped up the game a bit. Mainly by actually blocking, he would've totally whooped me there. Ah, I found his weakness ankles. I don't remember how many rounds there were in Street Fighter original either. Kinda sad how nobody talks about this game that much. But Street Fighter 2 was honestly just that much better. Hey, Lee. Lee's weakness is also the ankles, it seems. And thus, with the mighty Shin Kick, Ryu became, uh, the greatest fighter in all the land.
That's a that's a good move Gen's got there. Flail. Oh, the real secret of why the roundhouse is so good in this. Its hitbox is wonky. Alright, I think we're getting close to the end here. Wow, I just punched him right out of the air and he just teleported to the ground. Limitations for it over time, though. It's fine. They actually have decent hurt animations in this, all things considered. I'm actually relatively impressed with the animations of this in general. It's still... Oh, I guess that's it. Congratulations, Ryu, you are the king of the hill. I... I guess. Anyways, that was Street Fighter on the C64. Not a bad conversion, honestly. This is just loop. I bet that... Oh, no, nope, just right back to the start. Huh. Yeah, not a bad conversion, actually. Maybe next time we'll look at the sequel, which probably did not fare as well. But anyways, later guys.